This is the first episode of our new series, Attack Explained. In this new adventure, we are going to examine the attacking tendencies of several of the best pikers in volleyball today. In general, for the outside hitters and the opposites, we'll look into attacks from position 1, position 2, position 4, pipe attacks, and high balls regardless of the position. Additionally, it will be examined if there is any difference between spiking after a good or perfect reception, respectively after a reception at the third meter. Our first guess is the American top outside hitter of Modena, Matt Anderson, who plays also as an opposite in the US national team. So, what are the tendencies of the attack of Matthew Anderson? Let's look into the attack from position 1. After a good or perfect reception, or after a free ball, Anderson spikes mostly diagonal. In this situation, if possible, the block shall close the diagonal and a bit more line can be left for defending by the player in position 5. The end blocker shall not fly, since in this way he will leave the diagonal to open. However, the attack of Anderson from position 1 changes when it is after a reception at the third meter. Then he spikes a lot more line and the block should be positioned closer to the antenna in order to leave the player in position 5 smaller space to defend. When Anderson spikes from position 2, after a good or perfect reception, he attacks mostly long diagonal and sometimes short diagonal. In this case, the block can leave a lot of line. It is hard to close it in this situation anyway, and the defenders in position 1 and 2 shall always be ready for a short diagonal spike. The attack from position 2 after reception at the third meter is very similar with regard to the spike interactions. When attacking from position 4 after a good or perfect reception, the American spikes again mostly diagonal, long or short. The block can surely leave more line and the player defending in position 6 should be careful for balls touched by the block. After a reception at the third meter, Anderson again spikes mostly diagonal. When it comes to the pipe attack, the American spikes mostly towards position 5-6 and very rarely towards position 1. In a high ball situation, the blockers shall be placed in front of the ball, but when the ball is close to the antenna, the block should close the line. Then the defender in position 1 or position 5 respectively should make a step or two inside in order to take tips or balls touched by the block. What are your observations on the attack of Matt Anderson? Write in the comment section, tell me which spiker we should analyze next and of course watch us the next time too.